Hi, my name is Boris and today we're going to look at the following problem. Find the area and normal to the plane of the parallelogram which has vertices A, B and C and sides A, B and A, C. Okay, so this is a two-part question. We need to find both the area and normal. We will first find the normal and then we'll see that it's only one extra small step to find the area of this parallelogram. Okay, so before I show you how to find the normal, let's begin by finding the vectors A, B and A, C. So we find AB using the formula that AB is equal to OB minus OA. The O, of course, being the origin, which is not labeled here. And the reason we write it like this is because it's very easy to find OB and OA because they're the coordinate vectors of B and A. And it's very easy to find them. All we need to do is just write the coordinates of B as a column. So it becomes minus 1, 3, 0 minus OA, which is 0, 2, 1, and we get minus 1, 1, 1, minus 1. And we find AC in a similar fashion. We write AC is OC minus OA. Again, OC is the coordinate vector of C, so we just write the coordinates of C as a column, so 3, 1, 2 minus the coordinates of A, which is 0, 2, 1. We subtract and we get 3 minus 1, 1. Okay, so now we need to find the normal to these two vectors. And I remind you that the normal to two vectors is a third vector, which is going to be perpendicular to both this vector and this one. And the procedure we use to find the normal is called the cross product. So what we need to do is find the cross product of the vector AB with AC. So I'll remind you how to find the cross product in general. If you have two vectors, A, B, C, and you want to find their cross product, there is a relatively simple procedure that we use. So remember, first of all, the answer is going to be another vector. Now, how do we find this vector? So the first coordinate, of this result, what we do is we ignore the first row and we are left with B, E, C, F. And so what we do is we do B, F minus C, E. So B, F minus C, E. To find the second coordinate of the vector, the first thing we must do is put a minus sign and then it's a very similar procedure, except now we ignore the second row, we are left with A, F and C, D. So it's A, F minus C, D. And finally, to find the last component of the vector, we ignore the last row. We're left with A, E and B, D. So A, E minus B, D. And if you want, I encourage you to check that this vector is indeed perpendicular to both this one and this one. And how do we check something like this? You can take the dot product of this vector with this one and the dot product of this vector with this one and hopefully you will get zero. Okay, so let's apply this procedure to finding the normal to these two vectors. So we need to find the cross product of minus one, one, minus one with three minus one and one. Okay, so let's not use this formula. It's a little bit complicated to remember. Let's apply the same procedure that we did in the general case to this particular question. So what do we do? We ignore the first row. We do one times one minus minus one times minus one. So one times one minus minus one times minus one. For the second component, we put the minus sign straight away so we don't forget it because this is a common source of mistakes. We ignore the second row. We do minus 1 times 1 minus minus 1 times 3. So minus 1 times 1 minus minus 1 times 3. And finally, for the last component, we ignore the last row here. We do minus 1 times minus 1 minus 1 times 3. 
to get the first row, we do 1 times 1 minus 1, so we're going to get 0. Here we have minus 1 plus 3, which is 2, but then there is an extra minus sign, so we get minus 2. And here we have 1 minus 3, so again minus 2. Okay, so we found now the normal to the plane. What's left is to find the area. I remind you that if you've learned how to find areas in even in high school of a parallelogram, what do you need to do? You need to find the product of this length with this length multiplied by sine of this angle here, sine of theta. So the area is equal to the length of the vector AB multiplied by the length of the vector AC multiplied by sine of the angle. But luckily, this is precisely equal to the length of the normal that we just found. This is a property of the cross product. If we take the cross product of two vectors, the length of the result is given precisely by this formula. So all we need to do is find this length. So we find the length of 0, minus 2, minus 2. Okay, to make life a little bit easier for us, we're going to first pull out this 2, leaving us with a 0, minus 1, minus 1. And now this is just 2 times the square root of 0 squared, minus 1 squared, minus 1 squared, which is 2 root.